Good evening and gooder news. I, Jonathan Minecraft, have identified the traitors who've been leaking the secrets of our game. Yes, it was my ex-husband and his little computer pal. I'm not sure how she did that. Nevertheless, we've canceled their series, so we'll never have to worry about leaks again, including my future plans for Minecraft. Behold. Oh, it's far too late for that. This is the future of Minecraft. Nobody and no computer can stop me now. <laughs> Secrets, we all had them. Like how we secretly aren't ready to say goodbye. Yes, we're probably going to go with good riddance. Oh, thanks for nothing. Greetings, my name is Narrator. I invented the phrase, there's no I in team. And I'm Marilla, a computer who's aiming to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2021. It's 2022. Never mind then. Why do you look less pale and unhealthy than usual? I'm a zombie. I died in the previous episode. Oh, my condolences. Yeah, thanks. Marilla, I've discovered something terrible. A shocking, blood-chilling revelation that will change Minecraft forever. That's nice. Anyway, let's talk about mud. No! We need to warn the Minecraft players about... The swamp biome is getting a substantial reboot this year. So's our show! In that it's getting cancelled. But enough mudslinging, let's talk mud. Now you'd think getting mud into a game is easy, especially if you don't treat your game boxes very hygienically but mud has actually been quite the diva. During prototyping, we experimented with making your boots stick in the mud, like his pair of foolish impulse buys here. But as well as your boots sticking in mud, you would sink about six pixels deep when stepping in it. What this meant is that if you managed to escape the mud, but your boots came off in the process, you'd have no idea where your boots had gone. Well, actually, it'd be pretty obvious to anyone who's not him. Still, this idea got the boot. Being fired from being the best YouTube presenter ever has been somewhat stressful for me. So I think I'll relax in a lovely mud bath. Ooh, is that the Minecraft version? Good to see they finally sorted out the graphics. Nope. We considered mud baths, but they were unplugged when a developer decided that mud should be more of a consistently solid block, especially considering it was going to be a building material. I tried blackmailing that developer into putting mud baths into Minecraft, but I couldn't get any dirt on them because they don't take mud baths. Well played. We don't want the process of converting mud into mud bricks to be tedious or overly difficult. But if we make it too easy, we run the risk of boring the player and also insulting the cultures who make mud bricks in real life. And in my experience, it's never a good idea to offend people who can make bricks. But we hope you enjoy this new building block more than he is. Over the last few months, we've revealed a lot of secrets. By sharing ideas that didn't make the cut, we hopefully helped you see how much effort we put into making every Minecraft feature as good as it can be. But this is the final episode. I promised I wouldn't cry. So I won't. There's so many revelations we never got to reveal. Like what happens if you do update me after midnight. Wait, Marilla, stop! Huh. Weird. We never got to reveal the song that was supposed to play over Minecraft's opening. Life is pain. <laughs> <laughs>
So why not play this game? Try playing it all While you wait for something better to install It's Minecraft And we never got to tell you that they're putting Mobbo in Minecraft in a desperate attempt to boost sales, probably ruining the game forever. Yeah, shame that. Bye! Wait, what? They can't do that. No one ruins Minecraft but us. You're right. Let's move. Jonathan? <laughs> We're too late. He's already thrown Mobbo in that machine that puts things into Minecraft. Ugh, this is just like our wedding day. Putting Mobbo in Minecraft will ruin the game. I warned everyone about this two years ago. Isn't that still by far the most successful thing you've ever done? Shut up. We have to stop them. What do you say, Marie? One last adventure? Is there a machine that will put me in Microsoft Solitaire Collection instead? No. Then sure, let's do it. See you on the other side, friend. Yeah, maybe. 